Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I will discuss about the antepartum hemorrhage, which is a very very important topic from the examination point of view. What is antepartum hemorrhage? It is basically clear from the name. Antepartum means antenatal and hemorrhage means bleeding. Antenatal period is before the birth of the baby. So when the bleeding occurs during the antenatal period that is known as antepartum hemorrhage. Its definition It is defined as a bleeding from or into the genital tract Genital tract is also known as reproductive tract Bleeding occurs from the genital tract means the bleeding is visible from outside and the second possibility is bleeding into the genital tract means there is a bleeding inside the genital tract but not visible or undetectable from outside so here this suggests us two conditions that is bleeding from the genital tract or bleeding into the genital tract after the 28th week of gestation 28th week of gestation or pregnancy but before the birth of the baby so here they give us a time frame that is the bleeding occurs from the 28th week of pregnancy till the birth of the baby till the birth of the baby so during this time period or in between this time period if the bleeding occurs that is known as antepartum hemorrhage here the 28th week is considered as a lower limit of viability lower limit of viability lower limit of viability means the baby is able to survive outside the womb at 28th week that is known as viability or the fetal viability when the baby is capable of even survive outside the womb according to most of the studies the lower limit of viability is 24 weeks but in antepartum hemorrhage they are considering 28 week of pregnancy as a period lower limit of viability so this is a definition of antepartum hemorrhage that is bleeding occurs from or into the genital tract after the 28th week of pregnancy but before the birth of baby next are the causes of antepartum hemorrhage the causes of antepartum hemorrhage is divided into three headings This is the first heading that is placental bleeding which contributes 70% that in the 70% cases of antepartum hemorrhage the cause is placental bleeding means there is a bleeding because of placenta under placental bleeding there are two conditions first one is placenta previa and second one is abruptio placenta both are contributing 
same ratio that is 35 percent first one is placenta previa in this the placenta is attached at the lower uterine segment lower uterine segment normally it is attached at the upper uterine segment but in this case the placenta is attached at the lower uterine segment as it is loosely attached with the lower uterine segment so there are the chances of separation of placenta before the birth of the baby or premature separation sorry preterm separation that will lead to bleeding in this case abruptio placenta the placenta is separated before the birth of the baby which leads to bleeding next is the extra placental cause means the cause is other than placenta it in the 5% cases the cause behind the antepartum hemorrhage is extra placental cause means other than placenta it includes the local cervical vaginal lesions cervical means cervix vaginal means vagina lesions in this tissues are damaged tissues damaged because of wound or any tumor any injury so in this case bleeding occurs because of the tissue damaged at the cervix or vagina so it includes some conditions first one is cervical polyp this means the tumor which is benign is formed at the cervical region so here i write benign tumor which is non cancerous next one is carcinoma cervix in this the tumor form which is cancerous or malignant ME so here the malignant tumor forms or which is cancerous and the third condition under the extra placental causes varicose vein in the case of varicose vein the valves inside the veins which pushes the blood into one particular direction is affected for example this is a vein these are the valves inside the vein so these valves are supposed to push the blood into one particular direction for example upwards but due to the faulty valves they pushes the blood into wrong direction which as a result in this case the veins become swollen and twisting which increases the risk of rupture of veins so if the veins ruptured then it leads to bleeding and the last one condition under extra placental cause is local trauma local trauma or injury at the cervical or vaginal region so this is a second heading under cause and only one is remaining that is third one which is known as unexplained or indeterminate means the cause is not clear the cause is unknown or not clear so 
in the 25% cases of antepartum hemorrhage the cause behind it is not clear so in this the cause is neither placenta nor it is local cervical vaginal lesions there is some other reason which is not clear so here i write excluding excluding placental bleeding and local lesions so the cause which falls under this category is unexplained which is neither placental bleeding nor the extra placental cause but there is some other cause which falls under this category but it is not clear or not detectable so that solve about the causes of antepartum hemorrhage in my next video i will discuss these causes in detail which is very very important especially placenta previa and abruptio placenta